and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to Robert's Sports Show. I'm your host, Robert. Eight regular seasons left until the NASCAR playoffs begin. This one's at Kentucky Motor Speedway, the Quaker State 400. Wow. Uh, the last two races were just unfucking believable. Two weeks ago, the last lap, Kyle Busch, Kyle Larson, that was racing. Last week, a typical Daytona. Um, <laughs> that's all you could call that, is typical Daytona. We had big ones. We had freaking Ricky Stenhouse getting the police escort to leave the track. We had Brad Kozlowski, you know, hey, you know, some, you know, my fault, my bad, on that first wreck. And we all seen Stenhouse came up, you know. Stenhouse got taken out later, you know. I mean, just so many wrecks, so many storylines going forward. So many pissed off drivers, so many points, and young Eric Jones got the victory. How cool is that? I'm watching that last lap, I'm like, alright kid, block kid, block him. I, I was rooting hard for Eric Jones, I mean, obviously my picks didn't faint out, I mean, it's a super speed way. It's impossible, I mean, come on. But alright, here we are, back to a mile and a half, back to the bread and butter NASCAR. 400.5 miles at Kentucky Motor Speedway, 267 laps. Three stages, 80, 80, 107. This is the eighth race at Kentucky for NASCAR. Chevrolet has never won here. Uh, Ford has four, uh, no, Toyota has four wins. Ford has two, Dodge one. Um, Toyota's won every other race, so Toyota shouldn't win this one, based on history. Um, seven previous races, Joe Gibbs Racing has three wins. Penske has three wins. Uh, last year, when Cowboys won the pole, Martin Truex dominated. First stage, second stage, and the victory. Um, now, in 2017, that happened twice. Sweep both stages and win it. Uh, Truex did it in Vegas and Kentucky. This year, it's happened four times. And uh, Truex has done it at California. Kyle did it at 600 in Charlotte. And Harvick did it at Vegas and at Dover. Now, to be in all three stages, top ten is where you want to be at the end of the day point-wise. Last year, seven drivers did that. Mark Truex, he won all. Kyle Busch was second, second, and fifth. Kevin Harvick, fourth, fourth, and finished ninth. McMurray, fifth, sixth, seventh, right in the middle of the pack all day. Denny Hamlin, seventh, eighth, and a fourth. Eric Jones, young Eric Jones, eight, a fifth, and a sixth. Chase Elliott, ten, ten, and third. That's how they did at Kentucky last year in all three stages. This year, on the mile and a half, there's been six of the bad boys. Kyle Busch has three wins. Kevin Harvick has three wins. Kyle's average a 3.66 finish. Harvick is average an eighth place finish. Logano, 8.66. Truex, a ninth. Now, if you look over the last two, two years since stage racing began, 18 mile and a half races. Seven wins by Truex. Five fifth place average finish. Four wins by Harvick, 8.1 average finish. Three wins by Kyle Busch, 9.1. One win by Denny Hamlin, 10.9. The other three mile and a half wins went to Jimmy Johnson, Brad Keselowski, and Austin Dillon. We all we are, we are all asking, when is Chevrolet going to break out this year? Right now, there are only three Chevys, three Chevrolet drivers in the playoffs. And they're all 300 cars. Um, the 9 and Chase Elliott, the 88, Alex Bowman, and Jimmy Johnson. When's Jimmy going to get a win? When's Hendrick going to win? It's been so long since Hendrick Motorsports won a race. I don't know what it is with the new freaking Camaro. They're not. Ford, Toyota, just Toyota, I guess they came out with that new car a year earlier, and they didn't miss a beat. They were dominating last year, they're dominating. Ford's dominating this year, it's an old car. What's Ford going to do next year with the new car? So my three picks to win... Kentucky Motor Speedway. How would you go against the guy who's got three wins this year in a mile and a half, averaging 3.66? Three wins, Kyle Busch. How do you go against Martin Truex Jr.? Seven wins out of 18 races in the last two years. He's averaged the ninth place this year, fifth place in the last two years at mile and a half. How do you go against Kevin Harvick? Four wins in two years at the mile and a half. Three wins this year at the mile and a half. So my three picks, Kyle Busch. Martin Truex Jr., Kevin Harvey. All right, that will wrap up the Quaker State 400 preview. 
So we'll see how my picks turn out. Now so far this year, this is my 10th video, so I've done 9 previous videos. I am 4 of 9 on picks. So I'm a little below 500. If I get this one, I'll be right at 500. Based on the way NASCAR is, if I can pick 3 drivers each week and be right half the time, something's going on with NASCAR. I need to be a little more competitive than that. But hey. All right, well, that'll wrap up the Quaker State 400 preview. As always, thanks for watching the Rubber Sports Show. Don't just have a great day. Have a spiffy day. Rubber Sports Show, your YouTube leader in sports town content.